iPhone deals, and some storage card price drops available at Walmart. Samsung has decided to join T-Mobile in giving you a trial for a week, and if you haven't seen our preview of Android L, you should be doing so right now. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, my Friday weekend meter is about to explode, everyone. And I'm sure yours is too. This is Pocket Now Daily. Just a couple of hours after we filmed the Pocket Now Daily yesterday, Android L's developer preview went live and Joe Levi got his hands on it. And you can bet his video is already live. Links in the description, watch for our full coverage of everything that Android L offers. It is extremely compelling and I wish I had a Nexus 5 right now. In other official news, Walmart is trying to make it more compelling to get rid of some iPhone stock. If you're in the market to buy an iPhone right now, Walmart is the place 150 bucks for the iPhone 5S. $50 for the iPhone 5C, and if you already have a smartphone, they've got some really good deals on Sony micro SD cards. Uh, 16 bucks for 32 gigs, $33 for 64 gigs. That is crazy, you should be there. And after T-Mobile's Uncarrier 5.0 event, where they're allowing you to give an iPhone 5S a test for a week to see if you like their network and then choose if you want to take the phone or not, Samsung has just joined the wagon, but in an even hotter deal. They'll give you a Galaxy S5 or a Galaxy Note 3, but they also allow you to take one of their Gear smartwatches to test. Yes, you can test the Gear aside from the smartphone just to see how all three, the network, the phone, and the wearable work together. Links in the description for full details. This is a great deal. Now, on very unexpected news, Google's engineering director David Burke was recently interviewed and uh, he was very concerned that all of us are worried that the Nexus lineup is dying. To which he confirmed that it's not going anywhere. The Nexus lineup will happen and there will be products this year. According to him, it is intrinsically tied to the way Google launches Android. And obviously, since Android L is not ready, I guess we're going to have to wait for that to happen, which will be in the fall. So great news. Totally unexpected. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, though these are kind of rumors, it seems that there are wearables that are coming that are more affordable from Android Wear, which is totally expected. That's really what Android's motto is. And apparently ASUS will be the company that will be driving these more affordable wearables. We're talking about price tags between $100 and $150, which is great. We don't have a timeline for when these products will launch, but since Android Wear is already available, it should take only a little time. But that leads me to the question of the day. What would be the perfect price tag for you to buy an Android Wear product? Uh, in my case, honestly, it really depends on the product. I mean, I'm willing to pay $300 for the Moto 360 just because of its design, and I wouldn't pay what the LG G Watch costs for whatever because I don't like its design, but it all depends, again, on what the product looks like. Leave us a comment down below. What would be the perfect price tag for you to buy? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.